Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about mechanism of labor. This video deals with lie, presentation, presenting part, attitude, denominator, position and engagement of fetus. These are all basic concepts in obstetrics that we all need to be clear about. Now coming to fetal lie, fetal lie is the relation of the long axis of the fetus to the long axis of the maternal spine. Now there are three types of lie, they are longitudinal lie, when the fetus is parallel to the maternal spine, the lie can be transverse, when the fetus is perpendicular to the maternal spine, the lie is oblique when the fetus and the maternal spine are at an angle of 45 degree. Now this picture shows longitudinal lie, you can see the long axis of the fetus is parallel to the long axis of the maternal spine. This is again longitudinal lie but the presentation is different. We will be seeing about presentation in the subsequent slides. This is transverse lie. You can notice that the fetus and the maternal spine are perpendicular to each other. The lie can be oblique when the fetus is at an angle of 45 degree to the maternal spine. Okay. Now coming to fetal presentation, the part of the fetus which occupies the lower pole of the uterus is known as presentation. Now the different types of presentation are cephalic presentation when the head occupies the lower pole of the uterus, podalic presentation when the lower limb occupies the lower pole of the uterus and shoulder presentation. When more than one part of the fetus occupies the lower pole of the uterus, it is called as compound presentation. Now coming back to this picture, in this case you can see the head occupies the lower pole of the uterus, so it is cephalic presentation. In this case the lower limbs occupy uh, the lower pole of the uterus, so it is breech or podalic presentation. In this case, the shoulder occupies the lower pole of the uterus, so it is shoulder presentation. Now coming to presenting part, the part of the presentation which overlies the internal os is called as presenting part. In case of cephalic presentation, the presenting parts can be vertex or bro or face. Now, uh, all these are pictures of cephalic presentation. In the first case, the presenting part is the vertex of the fetus. Again, in this case also, the presenting part is the vertex of the fetus. In this case, the bro of the fetus uh, overlies the internal loss, so it is bro presentation. And in this case, the face of the fetus overlies the internal loss, so it is face presentation. Now, the present, uh, presenting part depends upon the attitude of the fetus. We will be seeing about the attitude of the fetus in the next slide. Coming to attitude, it is the relation of the different parts of the fetus to one another. The most common attitude is universal flexion. That is, the head, trunk and limbs show an attitude of flexion on all joints. So, the fetus forms an ovoid mass in the uterus. Coming back to this picture, this is the picture of universal flexion. In universal flexion, the presenting part will be vertex. In this, the, there is only moderate flexion. Um, again, uh, the presenting part will be uh, vertex in this case. This shows poor flexion. In this case, it will be bro presentation. And this shows full extension. In this case, the presenting part will be face. So, as you can see, the attitude of the fetus plays an important role in determining the presenting part. In case of breech presentation, when the legs are extended, it is called as frank breech. When the legs are flexed, it is called as complete breech. And when low, one lower limb is flexed and the other lower limb is extended, it is called as footling breech. Coming to denominator, it is a bony fixed point on the presenting part used for describing the position of the fetus in relation to the various quadrants of the maternal pelvis. So depending on the presentation, there can be different denominators. For vertex presentation, it is occiput. For breech presentation, it is sacrum. For face presentation, it is mentum. For bro presentation, it is frontal eminence. And for shoulder presentation, it is acromion. Again, to be clear, denominator is a bony point on the fetus to describe the relation of the fetus to the different quadrants of the pelvis. Coming to position, it is a relation of the denominator to the different quadrants of the pelvis. 
pelvis is divided into eight segments of 45 degree each. Now, in this picture, this is the sacral promontory, this is the symphysis pubis, this is the sacroiliac joint, and this is the iliopectineal eminence. Now, quadrants which are posterior to the sacroiliac joint are posterior quadrants. Since this is the left side of the maternal pelvis, and we are considering occiput to be the denominator, this quadrant is called as left occipital posterior. This is occipital posterior quadrant, and this is right occipital posterior quadrant. Now, quadrants which are anterior to the iliopectineal eminence are called anterior quadrants. Since this is the left side of uh, the maternal pelvis, and since we are considering the occiput to be the uh, denominator, this is left occipital anterior, this is occipital anterior, and this is right occipital anterior quadrant. This is left occipital transverse quadrant, and this is right occipital transverse quadrant. Remember, the most frequently encountered position of vertex is left occipital anterior when the occiput is in the left anterior quadrant opposite the iliopectineal eminence uh, and remember that this is the most favorable position for vaginal delivery. This picture again shows uh, the various uh, positions of the fetus in relation to the maternal spine. Now coming to engagement. The fetal head is considered to be engaged when the biparietal diameter has crossed the brim. Engagement mostly takes place during labor, but in case of primary gravidus, it could occur in the last few days of pregnancy. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe and tell your friends about this channel. Thank you.